when we talk about angles, there are a lot of different things we want to talk about, but one thing is a set of complementary angles. Do you guys remember what complementary angles are? Are they the angles that tell me how pretty I look? <laughs> that's, a, that's a different type of compliment. Um, complementary angles, these are angles whose sum is 90 degrees. What does that mean? That means if you add their angle measures, you get what? 90 degrees. That's what sum means, right? Sum means what? Addition. Okay. Well, we also talk about supplementary angles. What do you think you know about supplementary angles? All right, these are angles whose sum is 180 degrees. That's supplementary angles. Okay. So, if I told you this, if I said the measure of angle 1, okay, this is how you talk about the measure of an angle. If I say the measure of angle 1 is 42 degrees, okay, then what would be the measure of its complement? And what would be the measure of the supplement? So this is where it goes back to algebra. I mean, this is su stuff that you could do even without the algebra, but you're really doing algebra, even if you don't think you are. I said for the complement, that means it's angles who add up to be 90 degrees, right? So for this guy right here, that means I should have 42 degrees plus something else, and that should equal what? That should equal 90 degrees, right? How would I figure out what that other angle measure would have to be? I don't want to subtract 90 from 42. Don't give me a negative. I know there's a difference though, right? Quite right, quite right. Yes, yes. Good, good. So if I subtract 42 degrees from both sides, like you're solving an equation like we've been doing, and if you don't know how to do in this class and you're not going to pass, you end up with x equals what? 48 degrees. Do you buy that? Okay, well, even if you don't, it's true. Well, how would you find the supplement to this angle? Complement means you would add that to get 90 degrees. Supplement means you would add it to get what? 180. So how can you figure that out? What's the easy way to figure that out? Well, let's do another little equation then. So that means I should be able to take 42 degrees plus something to equal 180 degrees. That's for doing the supplement. So this right here is to find the complement. What I'm doing right here is to find the supplement. Can you solve this equation? Yes, yes. I, I'm going to assume that you're so quiet because you're already doing this. You're subtracting 42 degrees and what are you coming up with? What was it? 138. So that would be 138 degrees. This would be a really good question to put on, a, on your test. Something easy like this. Here's the measure of an angle. Find its complement, find its supplement. You don't need a picture for this. I mean, if you wanted a picture, you could. So do we have to work it like that, or can we just you can just subtract it on the side. I'm not asking you to write an equation, but I'm showing you that there is algebra behind it. Even though you may say 90 minus 42, you're doing this because you know inside of you there's an equation that you're trying, you're trying to find something. When I do it like this, this is a formal way of showing that. And this formality is used when you go on from this class to the other math classes. And if you can set it up like this, there are rules that you have to follow to solve this. And once we have rules and we have policies and procedures, then everybody's doing it the same way.
and everybody's getting the same right answer. So if I were to kind of sketch this out for you, bless you. If I did, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So if I make this a right angle, make these guys perpendicular, and I were to draw this guy right here, if I say this is the measure of angle 1, and I say that this guy is 42 degrees, its complement is going to be this guy right here that would kind of finish filling out this 90 degree angle. Do you guys see that? And so to finish this out, it would make this guy 48 degrees. <coughs> Do you all agree with that? Now to make 180 degrees, that would be all of this. And so what is all of that? Well, it's more than 48, and it's more than 90. It's 90 and 48, right? And so this is 138 degrees. So the complement would complete the right angle. The supplement completes this what angle? What do we call this guy the other day? That it completes that straight angle. It gives you that 180 degrees. What do you guys think? All right, well, what if I do, if I do this? If I draw this angle right here. What is something that this angle does not have? We're talking about complements and supplements. There's something this guy doesn't have. What is it? This guy does not have a complement. Now, it may be difficult to see until I do this. So here is this angle. Let's call this guy angle 2. How would you classify this angle? We talked about four classifications in class the other day. We talked about acute, right, obtuse, and straight. How would you classify angle 2? Obtuse. obtuse. An obtuse angle measures between what? Isn't that an angle whose measurement is between between 90 and 180, right? So this guy right here is already larger than 90 degrees, right? So if he's larger than 90, does he have a complement? He can't have a complement. If he's larger than 90, if I, s let, let me do this. Suppose I say the measure of angle two is equal to 100, <coughs> 41 degrees. What would you add to this to equal 90? If you're talking about complements, what would you add to this to give you 90 degrees? It'd have to be a negative number, right? Are you going to, right now from what we're doing, are you going to measure angles using negative numbers? No. 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 Now when you go on to something like trig and precal and calculus, you'll talk about negative degrees. But it's not really what you may think it is. It really just determines direction or which way you're rotating. Does this guy have a supplement? Mm -hmm. Yes, its supplement would actually be this guy over here. So what would this be? This is 141. What's this? How would you figure it out if you didn't want to write an equation? You would subtract 180 so you get know, 180 minus 141, what do you get? 
you get 39. So this measurement right here is 39 degrees. Now here's a fun question. What is the complement of the supplement of angle 2? What's the complement of the supplement? What did you just find here? What is this guy? This is the supplement of that angle, right? What is the question asking you? What's the complement of this guy, right? So the question is really asking, what's the complement to 39 degrees? What is it? 51. 51? How'd you get 51? Right, so the complement of the supplement. So the supplement right here is 39. So to find the complement, you would do 90 minus that, and you come up with 51 degrees. Right? 